Would you like to know if the TOCAF certification is worth it? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with approximately 25 years experience. And in today's video, we're going to talk about getting TOGAF certified. Is it worth it? So before we answer that question, is it worth it? I really want to talk about the TOGAF 10 certification and really what it is. So we'll discuss what is TOGAF and then we can talk about its value for your career. So the TOGAF framework comes from the open group and it's realistically speaking an enterprise architecture framework. Now it is globally recognized recognized, and it's one of the most widely adopted enterprise architecture frameworks in the world. Now, TOGAF provides what you would consider to be a structured method to develop your architecture from starting from the beginning to, to, to the end uh, on new planning for change control and new architectures. So let's talk about what TOGAF is really good about. It's great at coming up with a systematic methodology to make sure you don't miss things. It's designed to support digital transformation, which is one of the biggest weaknesses in companies and their technology projects. And TOGAF really guides the entire process from beginning the architecture, all of the documentation that needs to be necessary and the steps to follow to be successful. So TOGAF basically forces a standard process. It kind of encourages reusable architectural artifacts. It's got some very strong governance processes inside of TOGAF and it is widely adopted globally. So it has a lot of merit. Now, the TOGAF certification does help organizations in many cases with some of its biggest challenges because it focuses on strategy. And TOGAF certified people, it's showing that they understand the approaches. We don't start with the tech. We've got to go to the source. We've got to understand the business needs. We have to understand the business architecture. We have to optimize the business architecture before we get technology. So this is a very good thing. Another benefit of TOGAF is it kind of gets people to speak in the same language. So it comes up with a common lexicon or language or standard term. So that way we don't have any confusion. EC2 versus compute engine instance, anybody? I mean, seriously, if we speak a common language, we're less likely to make errors. And that's why medical professionals speak a common language. That's why pilots typically speak a common language in a certain language and a certain means of communication to avoid errors. You get that from TOGAF, which is great. TOGAF really does make some great governance recommendations, which again, which is great. And TOGAF, can be, they teach you even how to tune for other things. So there's a lot of good things that are coming for TOGAF. Now, let's talk about the real weaknesses of TOGAF and the TOGAF certification. While everything we described is great, TOGAF doesn't teach you how to do any of these things. So, if there's a phase that says map out the business architecture, unfortunately, TOGAF doesn't teach you how to map out a business architecture. And for the most part, they barely cover even what a business architecture is. So, when TOGAF discusses creation of various types of architectural artifacts, it won't teach you how to do it. So TOGAF is a fantastic certification. It makes your portfolio stand out, but there's nothing in TOGAF that's going to teach you anything about architecture. So you have to know how to be an enterprise architect first. And then this is something that gets you better. So it's kind of like a physician who's already board certified and then does a fellowship and the fellowship makes them look better. This is a great credential on your resume, but you have to know how to do the job. So you're going to have to learn your cloud architecture, your enterprise architecture before you get to this certification. Now, one thing that I like as someone that's trained and coached cloud architects, enterprise architects, security architects for decades now, I love that when people see the TOGAF certification and when they get TOGAF certified, first it does help them get more interviews, but it keeps them focused. It keeps them out of the shiny object syndrome for a new architect where they want to get involved in engineering and learn a whole bunch of things because TOGAF reminds them of everything they're going to be doing other than hands-on engineering skills. So it keeps them focused. So I've found that TOGAF helps many people along the way to their first architecture job keep them focused. So when non-architects are Telling the architects of all the other things they do in their job, which architects don't do in their job, the people that are really going through that, that TOGAF, that are really focused on understanding the steps of an architecture, they see the magnitude of the architecture. So in the end, TOGAF is a wonderful certification. It can build your brand. 
It can build your credibility. It's often used by many organizations and many organizations do love that. And it can definitely help you in your enterprise architect role stand, stand out from the competition. But like all certifications, it's just a tool. Make sure you do the right professional development, career development to be successful in your career. If you'd like to become a cloud architect, an enterprise architect, a security architect, an AI architect, for example, we have programs for you, but we also have completely free architecture webinars that we run once per week. But we'll go over the architecture role. We'll talk about what we do in the role. We'll talk about the skills that you need for the role, how to stand out in the role. And then you can ask me any questions you want about how to become an architect, for example, or evaluate your resume or evaluate your LinkedIn profile or evaluate you, you for job readiness, whatever I can do on these free webinars, I'm happy to do so. You can register for one of these free architecture webinars in the description of this video and sign up and join us live on Zoom. While you're in the description of this video, I wanna let you know that we've got many, many things to assist you in your career. How to win the interview, for example, guides on how to be a cloud architect or an enterprise architect or an AI architect. So sign up for some, they're free, and I hope they help you with your career. Now, if you enjoyed this video on uh, what uh, on the TOGAF certification, is it worth it for your career? Um, maybe give the video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your architecture career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I hope to see you soon.